All right, crypto.com, uh, just like a lot of other altcoins, we've basically had a textbook retrace of the golden pocket, which if you don't know is the 618 from this macro fib here. So what we were looking for, what we've been pointing out in the last few videos is we're either going to come up to this 618 and get rejected and fall off the table, or we're going to get above this 618, bounce off it, and then go off to the moon. Now, it looks like CRO's made its decision. Now, a lot, unlike a lot of other altcoins, you know, for example, um, if we come over to Solana, Solana's only been testing this for the past two days, but CRO has been sitting on this level. If I come back to the other chart, CRO has been sitting underneath this level for one, two, three, four, five days now. So, and CRO wasn't even fully able to get to the top of this wick. Um, I think if we probably move move this up, or no, no. So yeah, there's there's no other way to draw the fib to kind of compensate for us being down here it is literally just because CRO didn't have the strength to get to the top of here so what I'm looking for now is at least a retrace of the 618 down here and obviously if we hold the 618 that's probably your most bullish scenario but even in the most bullish scenario it looks like CRO is about to dump another 10 percent uh, if we look on the daily RSI RSI looks like it got stomped out at 50 almost twice and is now turning back over if we come over to the four hourly chart, you can also see RSI is, it could I ever make a W here, um, but it would need to turn around like ASAP. Uh, we have a red, green, red candle formation, which is in technical analysis, analysis a very bearish indicator. Uh, you can see that we had a red, green, red here, and basically on, on, the, on the four hour came all the way down here. So um, CRO does not look good right now. Um, there's not too much uh, selling volume coming in on the four hourly. If we look on the daily, not too much selling volume. So that's probably your your, your biggest hopium sign. Uh, if you are looking for some hopium, you would want to bounce on the 618 here, which would be 37. But like I said, even in the best case scenario, we would be looking at a 10% drop for CRO. So uh, there's no other way to slice it. CRO looks bearish. If we come over to the KuCoin chart here, where I've got a slightly different formation set out, you can see that we've been in this descending channel since the 23rd of November, or well, we put in wicks on the 20th, but yeah, um, just like a lot of other coins like Bitcoin, Solana, um, etc., etc., we've got this strong level of resistance coming in. I'll come over to Bitcoin so you can see how it is basically the exact same as CRO. We're putting in the same chart, so CRO is just going to follow Bitcoin but more accentuated. Um, if we do just have one more peek here, you can see that, you know, we've been in this uh, rejection zone from this uh, this wall of sellers. We got rejected here, we came up, got rejected here, and it looks like we've come up and been rejected from the wall again. So uh, next level down uh, for CRO is if we if is if we come to the bottom of this channel, we're going to be coming down about another 40 percent from where we are. Yes, yeah, about another 40 percent. Um, so, like I said, your best case scenario is us bouncing off the 618 here. Um, a kind of neutral scenario would be if we come down to the 200 day moving average down here, but even that would be a 20% dump. So, what I see for CRO in the coming days is unfortunately a lot of turbulence. We're probably going to come down at least another 10%, and if we don't bounce off the 618, then we're gonna roll back down and we're gonna come down to the 200 day moving average, which is all the way down here, at another 20% drop. So uh, once again, none of this is financial advice. It's just my opinions on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.